Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Jo here. I hope you're all well. If you're new here, I'm Jo. I do craft videos. I usually do three a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And then I do Poundland hauls as well as my charity shop finds, usually every fortnight. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you leave a comment, I will reply. And if you've not subscribed and you want to see more from me, then it'd be wonderful if you joined our family and friends. If you're returning, as always, my friends, welcome back. Thank you for your continued support. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be making these videos so thank you so much so for today's craft i wanted to make some miniature stone statues i've had this idea in my mind for about six or seven months but i didn't think i'd be able to do the paint job justice and i finally decided to give it a go so here they are and let's get into how i made them so the first thing I'm going to be using is some of these Christmas decorations. I got them in B&M's. They should have been £2.49 for a set of eight. I paid £1.99 because I got them in January and I bought two packs. I knew I was going to be using them for this craft and I've got an idea for another craft that I want to use them for. So I'm just going to take the ribbon or string off the top. And then I'm going to use these as a reference to decide how high I want my bases to be. So I'm just holding them roughly how high I want them and I'm going to do the base of the cardboard at 5 centimeters. So I'm just going to grab some cardboard which is an old cardboard box and I'm going to start to draw out my sections. So they're going to be 5 centimeters high. So now I've got my eight pieces of cardboard, we can start to glue them together. I'm going to use hot glue to do this, I'm just going to add some glue to one of the edges of the cardboard and then glue another one to it. Then I'm going to put one on the other side and then finally I'm going to put one across the top and then I'm going to do exactly the same with the other four pieces. and then we can start to cover them with polystyrene. So I'm using polystyrene cups, I paid 150 for a pack of 15, and I'm just gonna cut down to the bottom of the cup and then cut around the edge to get rid of the bottom so that we've got a sheet of polystyrene and this is what I'm gonna use to stick to our cardboard. So to do this, all I'm gonna do is stick it to the inside of the cup. I'm just gonna use hot glue I'm going to cover the side of the cardboard with glue and the middle as well and then I'm just going to glue this down and then with a craft knife or a Stanley knife I'm going to roughly cut out around the edges and then I'm going to neaten the edges up so that they are the same height and width of the cardboard. So I'm going to do this to each side of our bases and make sure that they're completely covered in the styrofoam. And then we can do the base and the top section as well. So I've taken a piece of cardboard, I've just popped my section on top and traced around the outside of it. And then I've measured a half a centimetre edge all the way around it and I'm going to cut this out and use it as a template and cut out eight pieces. So we'll have four pieces for the bottom and four pieces for the top. 
I'm going to glue these into sets of two. So we'll have four sections that are two pieces thick. Just using a glue stick for this. So now we've got our four sections of the cardboard for the bottom and the top. Before I glue them in place, I'm going to cover these with styrofoam exactly like we did around the sides. I'm going to glue it to the styrofoam and then cut it out with a craft knife. For the bottom piece, I'm only going to cover one side. For the top piece, I'm going to cover both sides. So here they are, the bottom one, one side, the top one, both sides. And now I'm going to glue these in place. I'm just going to use some hot glue, go around the base of our square. And glue it so that the polystyrene is facing upwards. And then for the top bit, it doesn't matter which side's facing up. I'm going to do that to the other one as well. And now we've nearly covered our bases. So I'm just going to now start to work on the bits that's left. So for around the top of the base, I'm going to use the top of the styrofoam cups. It has like an edging on it and it's ideal for going around the sides at the top. So I'm just going to roughly hold it in place, mark how high and wide I want it to be and then glue in place. And I'm going to work my way around the top like so and for the bottom I'm just going to measure strips of polystyrene to the height and width and glue them in place as well. And to finish off the base I want to put some frames on each side so I'm just cut some small pieces of polystyrene made sure that there was an angle at each end and I cut the side and the top to the size that I wanted and then I use these as a template to cut the others and I'm just going to glue these in place so the longer ones at the side and the shorter ones at the top. And as I was gluing these on, I was using tweezers so not to burn my fingers. And the bases are now constructed and we can carry on building them. So I'm using some of the polystyrene balls. These were from Poundland. Um, in the Christmas section, this is what I've got left and I'm going to glue one to the top of each of our base. And then I'm going to glue our unicorn to the top. I want them facing each other, so I'm going to glue one on one side and one on the other. So now they're all glued together and we've finished building them. We can start to add the cracks into the polystyrene. So I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to start at the base of the unicorn and I'm just going to start to push into the styrofoam where I want my cracks to be. I'm going to do some quite large cracks on the polystyrene balls and then some smaller cracks on the base of the statues. Mm -hmm. 
Once I was happy with where all the cracks are, I'm now going to paint them in black acrylic paint. I'm going to do two coats. I didn't want to use spray paint in case I melted the styrofoam and I need to make sure that I fill in all the cracks that we've just made with the pencil so that there is no white showing anywhere on the statues. Here they are painted black. And now we can start to add the different colour paints. So for the next section, I didn't know if this was going to work or not, but I've mixed some black and white acrylic paint together to make a stone or cement type colour. And now I'm going to add sand to it to give it texture. I'm just using some sand that I picked up in a pet shop. I paid 5 dollars for 5 kilos. You can get sand from B&Q, Wix, and you can get it from some supermarkets in the summer, play sand and I'm just going to add little bits to start off with and I want to try and get it to a thick consistency so it's more like a thick paste and it's easier to add more than it is to take away so I'm just going to add a bit at a time and stir it in until I'm happy with how it's looking. Now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to start to paint on the statue. It is really thick, but I'm already liking how it looks. And once I've done the unicorn, I'm going to start to do the polystyrene ball. And I want to paint this so that I leave the cracks black. So I'm just lightly going over the surface of the polystyrene ball, making sure that I'm not pushing the paint into the cracks. I'm going to completely cover both of the statues and let them dry. So now what I've done is I've added some more white paint into the mixture and now I'm lightly brushing around with the white paint, not completely covering it, covering it leaving some of the dark grey underneath to give it a bit more depth and tone. And now they're dry and what I've done now is I've mixed some black acrylic paint, a small amount of black acrylic paint with some water to make a wash and now I'm going to start to put this all over the statue. And this is just to give it a bit of a weathered look and to highlight some of the grains of sand and I'm just using tissue to wipe it off as and where I want and I really like this because it, it, it really did attach around the grains of sand which brought it out more and I'm going to continue to add as much as I want around the top of the statue and the base of the statue as well I spent a full day painting these and I loved every minute of it. So here it is up to now and now I'm going to do the same thing but I've done a wash with light brown acrylic paint and water and then I'm going to do a dark green and a light green and I'm just going to put it in sections where I want my moss to be. So again just adding little bits and then wiping it off with some tissue so here is what they look like with the brown and the green i wanted it to look like moss and lichen and now everywhere that we've put the green and brown paints i'm going to start to add moss and i paid two pound for this pack um, from Wish it was £2 including postage this is what I've got left so I'm just going to cut off small sections and use tweezers to apply it and use PVA glue to stick it down So 
So here they are finished and I'm absolutely over the moon with them. I have to say, I think these might be my favourite thing that I've made so far on my channel. I love how they turned out. I love the way that they look. They look like stone. They feel like stone, except for they're not heavy. But yeah, I'm over the moon with them. And now I just want to find loads of different decorations and toys that I can stick to the top of statues. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've, I'm so happy that I made these. They're for the base of a wizard tower that I want to make in the future, which I'm really looking forward to making. And I will get around to making it at some point. But yeah, love these. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you on Wednesday for my next video. So until then, take care and I hope you have a good week up until then. See you then. Bye.